Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, let, let me share you the top differences between the Realme T310 earbuds and then the Realme T300 earbuds. So now in the Realme T310 earbuds, there is totally more than five differences. Now the first upgrade on the Realme T310 is that Google Fosfar connection, which is not available on the T300. So with the help of Google Fosfar connection, if you are connecting an Android phone means, then you can instantly connect using the Google Fosfar dialog window. And also in the Android smartphone, using the Google Fosfar setting page. So for that, you need to just go to the Android settings, then click on the Google. And here click on the all services and click on device and sharing, click on devices and click on saved devices. Here you can able to see the Realme T310 earbuds and in the Realme T310 earbuds on the Google Fosfar settings you can use the find my earbuds feature. So using that you can able to find the lastly connected location and also you can able to ring the earbuds like left and right earbuds. In before you can able to use this feature only on the Realme link application and that option too supported only on the Realme smartphones. But now with the help of Google Fosfar support you can able to use the find my earbuds feature in all the Android smartphones with the help of Google Fosfar. And if you're iPhone user, then you can't able to use the Google Fosfar connection. And the next important feature is that dual connection. In the T300, the dual connection is in the form of switch device, which means whenever you tap triple times on the birds, then the connection will be switched over from one device to another. But on the Realme T310, there is a dual connection supported always. So for this, firstly, you need to enable the setting option in the Realme link application. Just go to the Realme link and just enable that option. And after that, now whatever two devices, whether it's an iPhone and Android or Android and laptop. So between two devices, you can able to connect this Realme Buds T310 always. So that is very good feature in this price category. And the next important uh, difference is that uh, in the Realme T300, the Realme Link app only supported on Android device. But on the Realme T310, now the Realme Link app supported for both Android and iOS. So if you are an iPhone user, you, you can able to use the Realme Link application in your iPhone also. And also with the help of Realme Link application, you can use all the features. You can directly see the case and earbuds battery percentage digitally. So when, once you place any one earbuds in case, you can able to see case and earbuds battery percentage. And also you can see the noise control and there is a EQ mode option. You can select uh, four different EQs and also you can create a custom equalizers. And if you want, you can enable the spatial audio, volume enhancer, dual device connection and under the button settings, you can able to customize the touch functions as per your preference. But the touch functions is actually limited. So only you can able to see the double tap and triple tap only. If there are more touch actions, mean, then it will be really useful, but it's actually limited only. And the next important upgrade and difference compared to T300 is ANC. So in the T300, it has 30 decibels of ANC, but on the Realme T310, it's supported with the 46 decibels of ANC. So the noise cancellation is really good compared to t300 in your surrounding if any noise available so it can maximum uh, reduce the 50 to 60 percentage of noise once you turned on the ANC but it is too not supported with the smart ANC detection which means whenever you wear the earbuds the ANC will not automatically turn on so the smart ANC detection not available on the t310 earbuds also and that is already not available on t300 also and the next upgrade on t310 is that in voice calls also so in the each earbud in T310 there is a triple mics but on the T300 it has a only dual mics only. So in terms of voice calls, so what you speak, your voice is naturally hearable to the opposite person, your volume level and clarity which are all good. So if you are uh, sp speaking calls even in the outdoor at the stable situation and at the same time in terms of background noise, even with the triple mic, it not cancels or not compress the background noise the maximum. So if you are in the outdoor and in the roadside, if you are in the shop or like that means, if there are any ho more horn noise means, so that type of horn noise which are all hearable to the opposite person only. But at the same time, what you speak, which is clearly hearable to the opposite person. And similarly, the wind noise reduction is not that much good when compared to Realme Buds R6. Uh, or uh, r5 pro r6 pro so like that when compared to that models so there is a slightly the wind reduction is not that much good on this realme buds t310 earbuds but overall the voice call is also good compared to the t300 earbuds and the next important uh, difference is that uh, battery in the t300 the 
प्ले टाइम अवर्स इज आलमोस्ट गिवस यू ट्वेंटी नईन अवर्स टू थर्टी अवर्स ओनली एंड ऑन द इयरबड्स ओनली विद एन सी ऑफ अट सिक्सटी पर्सेंट वॉल्यूम ई मैक्सीम गेट फाइव पॉइंट फाइव अवर्स ओनली बट ऑन द टी थ्री टेन इयरबड्स द प्ले बैक अवर्स इज फर्दर इंप्रूव सो ई आक्चुअली चेक ऑन द एन सी ऑफ विद सिक्सटी पर्सेंट वॉल्यूम सो इट गिवस मैक्सीम नईन अवर्स टू टेन अवर्स ऑफ अ कंटिन्यूस प्ले बैक so you'll get a 35 to 40 hours of a total play time hours compared to t300 which actually gives uh, under 30 hours only in my testing on the battery review of this t300 earbuds so overall battery backup is also good on the t300 and also even if you're iphone or android user you can able to see the case and earbuds battery percentage right from the realme link application with the digital numbers and also with the help of google fosfor connection whenever you are uh, connecting in android phones so if you are repeatedly connecting means you can able to find the case and earbuds battery percentage right from the notification bar itself so these are all the some of the upgrades on the realme t310 earbuds in the battery section and next to the final difference is that the special audio so when compared to t300 in the t310 earbuds the special audio is improved a lot and actually when i hear the special audio experience so it is almost similar to the oneplus 12r special audio so as you all know that if you are using a oneplus 11 or a 12r smartphone means in your smartphone under the settings in the sound and vibration along with the dolby atmos you can able to see the spatial audio setting so what type of algorithm used on the oneplus spatial audio in the oneplus 12r uh, that the same spatial audio algorithm used on the realme link application for this realme buds t310 earbuds so this spatial audio is a really good so it gives you some uh, different uh, music experience and it's a three dimensional and it's a basic immersive experience so i'll tell you how it actually feels you and before that you need to enable the spatial audio in the realme link application and also you need to turn off the volume enhancer option whenever you turn on the spatial audio you need to turn off the volume enhancer because when you en enable the spatial audio it actually boost the overall volume and already the volume is boosted with the help of the volume enhancer so if uh, both options is enabled means then you will get a more volumes when you hear the song and uh, particularly in some songs you might uh, feel some distortion in the songs if you hear at a maximum volume so for this reason i am uh, telling you to turn off the volume enhancer when you enable the spatial audio and you can use the spatial audio with the combination of uh, different eq modes as per your wish so for example if you want a uh, vocals to be very rich and a uh, sharp uh, and highlighted vocals with the limited bass or a normal bass amount of bass quality means then you can se select the serenade eq and then if you are a user you want a more punchy and a boom bass effects with a, a clear vocals means then you can select the pure bass or deep bass so with this eq combination you can select the spatial audio so once you enable the spatial audio how its experience means so in the overall frequency ranges in the low frequency mids and the highs once you turn on the spatial audio that mid frequency is actually most up front is the mid portion is uh, almost uh, for the vocals so if you are hearing a song the center position the singer voice is actually hearable at your center of your head not directly through your ears and uh, apart from that mids other low frequencies and uh, that uh, instrument sounds or any stereo vocals you can able to see that in some song there is a multiple voices so like a uh, two singers actually singing on uh, singing in a single song so in like that songs uh, one singer voice actually placed on the center and the other singer voice is actually placed at uh, stereo so like that uh, stereo vocals are hearable directly through your ears and the other instrument sounds and the bass effects which hearable directly through your ears and only the center positioned vocals or a singer's voice it can be hearable at a head center and also the uh, stereo sounds is actually widened you can able to feel that sounds has been widened and, and also the volume of stereo is slightly increased compared to the spatial audio off you can just experience that uh, by turning off and turning on the spatial audio when you turn on the spatial audio the vocals is slightly up fronted and, and it feels like singer is singing in the center of your head like in the forehead and other sounds is actually widened 
and it's directly hearable through your ears so now in this situation you can able to hear the uh, all the three sounds like in the center left and the right so it's a three dimensional audio and it's a basic immersive experience so now in this situation if any singer is singing in the center or left right or any other instrument sounds like all these sounds lyrics and other instrument sounds you can easily able to differentiate and you can clearly able to hear all these sounds so overall this sound stage is really good the depth and the width of the sound stage is really good in the spatial audio they really improved on the t310 compared to t300 earbuds so now overall these are all the five plus major uh, differences and improvement on the t310 earbuds when compared to t300 well now that's it on this video guys and if you like this video hit the like and subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching this video guys